Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, one of the areas that I did not uh, cover very well was about the placating tribes. In Nobunaga, we were appeasing tribes, and when we go fight an enemy or defend our castle or fortress, they will come and help us. Here, it plays a little bit differently. So, every city will have around it certain tribes, like in our capital city of Janning, we were able to placate this tribe. And this tribe contributed like 20,000 uh, to our population base. So that means now that our recruitment, our recruitment will now be much higher. So if I click on Janning, uh, our recruitment, uh, L1 plus L1 plus the D-pad right button, we shift to the number of recruits we're getting every month, which is now, uh, every year I, I would say, is now 2,050. So that that is a lot. So that that it was based on our population base. And here, let's say another, this is uh, Yeshu, Yue, Yuesui, they are doing like 1600, uh, 1600. So there are a lot, a number of, uh, like this one is white. That means we have not appeased it yet. Once uh, we ha were able to send our people out and placate them, they will contribute an additional 500 points to our, uh, our agriculture, our farming. And here, so certain cities that are close to like this one, this is very important because that means we can now use armored infantry. This is like a specialty troop, specialty, special armored infantry. There are now, there are special cavalry and there are, I, there, there are mounted archers. So there are different, uh, different parts of the, uh, parts of China will provide different part, a uh, different kind of troops. Like in the north western part, we will get mounted archers. On the northern part, we will get uh, a special kind of infantry. Close to Chengdu, there are also. So when when our officers ask us to go out and investigate, sometimes we find hidden officers, and sometimes uh, we will also discover uh, tribes that are close to our city. So like. In our capital city, we have so we have sent so many people out. We have done a lot of investigation. So these are the the tribes that we have found to be near us. So this Pumi will also contribute another twenty thousand uh, population to our population base here in the city. Uh, uh, okay. So we can we can send officers to placate them, which will cost us gold, or we can send our army and just pacify them, meaning send it over, take over that town. It will take some time, but since we have gold to spare, and uh, sending out an army, we still have to provision, and that officer will no longer be able to, available will no longer be available to us for use. So I, I would rather just placate them. Anyway, we have the time and we can do it and we have the officers to do it. So either way, the officer uh, is earning some experience doing it. And in that case, remember, every time we accede to a request by one of our ministers, uh, not only is the officer that was sent to do the job, does, not only does, does that officer gain experience, the minister also gets a part of that experience. So it's pretty good to constantly send. Uh, it's it's uh, allowing or, or responding to our minister's request or, or, or task that they recommend. So then two officers actually gain experience, which is, I think, might be more uh, better in the future in the long run. So again, uh, I decided to continue uh, with... Uh, publishing this these content uh, on the uh, basis that uh, if you guys out there uh, are get a little bored with it, 
you can just skip that episode like this is episode nine and so you can just skip it and so i would rather that i think it when when i had when i thought it over i i believe that you know i would rather have you guys have the option of wanting to watch it and if you get bored with you know the regular development work that i do uh because yeah if you're not doing it yourself you can you, I, there's a higher chance that you get bored watching me do it so uh but i rather i just give you the option if you get bored with it you can just skip the uh i mean just skip that episode or or fast forward it in youtube it's very nice you can just move the bar uh quickly and so you just skip the whole thing or just go to the next episode and uh see so i would rather you guys have that option okay uh like this one this guy has a low government governance and the and if he's asked to do culture so some of them they, some of them some of the prime ministers uh will ask uh you to get these low level officers to develop it if they have low stats i still go ahead and let them do it uh but i don't i don't the work goal i put it at minimum rather than usually i go to the maximum like 200. no here i just let them uh maybe that like 10, uh, 80. so they get some merit so they do improve also so that's not like a that's not a very economical way of uh, developing the town or use of the gold that we have but anyway so that that improves my relationship with the with my with our ministers at the same time even the low level officers uh get some experience somehow <laughs> anyway uh so we'll just continue with the development work like this guy 78 is pretty good uh i would still go maximum anything below 60 then uh, i just go to the mid level and if it's lower than 60 then i uh i get i go to the minimum where they get some experience because the minimum if you go just minimum you know no one gets any experience anyway i will the reason i want to go ahead and continue to record uh these uh, this this boring development work is because i would like the episodes to also cover what's happening in the northern plains uh then uh so when when because if i don't record them and you come back and and you see the jump like a year later or two years later and then say hey what happened you know how come the colors all change you know the, no, no, the northern plains don't look the same anymore so this way you can you can still follow it at your discretion uh, if you want to you, I, I i i you know that that's that's fine with me in fact i would love you to continue to follow it but if you get more just go just skip ahead and so this way we can see what's going on in the northern plain as the uh as, as the han emperor's <laughs> troops uh take over uh take back Take back the cities they lost to the uh, to the rebels. No, no, I'm not gonna give them a gift. At this point, there's no need to give them a gift. So we can continue with the game. Uh, let's just let's watch what what's go. So Sunjan has taken two, has taken one city, city. And the Liu also has also taken one city. See, the Liu in the northern part, the one with the blue color, they will be coming down and will be taken over Chengdu. So, what do you... Okay, Fealty, yeah, he is a high... He has high stats for this particular test. Let's go maximize, do it. Okay, okay, high success. Always high success. Low yield is fine. I'm not greedy. Oh, we got another treasure that we can give out. So let's do some more development work. Let's just keep uh, training. How about let's start training our troops because training is very important here. Uh, let's go with spear. 
Do we have? Oh yeah, let's get this guy to do it. So uh, we can, yeah, we can continue to follow what's going on here, and uh, and so what? When troops fight. What? Yeah. <laughs> so when troops fight and they get sent home, they take time to recover. So what you're seeing, the numbers we are seeing right now are the represent how many troops are in those cities. And so every time they fight, uh, there are, you know, there's, they both sides suffer casualties. So when they go back to the cities, uh, to their home city, uh, they it takes time for them to recover. And then the numbers change, keep growing. So that represents people who have been recovering from their wounds or from, or maybe even new recruitment. Let's continue to patrol. Let's see if this guy, so every time, see these guys, they're not, that means there's one officer here that, an excess officer that can actually do this kind of work. So unlike the other cities, when when they they become late grayed out, that means they don't have an extra officer or an officer free to do to do the task, that to do a task that we intend to assign to them. <laughs> so so now so everything slowed down, and the uh, the yellow turban has taken three more cities. The yellow turban. <laughs> so it made sense for them to start see they took this city and they took this city and they took this city so those cities those cities provide ready soldiers now they have 12,000 here 12,000 there so rather than waiting for soldiers to slowly recover in their home city now if they took off took over a new city th those new cities have fresh troops that they can draw, draw from uh, rather than and the problem is that those troops are low in training and so that's the flip side but in this early part of the game all of the troops are really low low in training right they, they don't have very good training so it doesn't matter so it was it was a good move on the part of the yellow turban to start taking over uh new cities that I have not that do not have any warlords all they have to do is just send over uh, a couple of officers and wow they can those are ready-made troops so in essence they have taken over like almost or have almost gained like 36,000 soldiers assuming a 10 percent uh, so just as a quick look so like here they got 13 12 that's 25 and another 12 that's 37, 37,000 soldiers they got really quickly. So that's another way. It's like us, when we took over all those cities, we have soldiers. Except that at that time, we didn't have any generals to send over there. So <laughs> now we have, we have, uh, we have, we have spread out uh, the officers that we, we have gained. All those young kids coming of age, we were able to send them out and uh, give them uh, uh, positions as governors <laughs> and also uh, as uh, followers of those governors okay and now let's keep on uh, keep on doing patrol like let's patrol this area so that they will have better recruitment and uh okay and then this one needs help hey. So, uh, so this city was taken back by, oh, they took it back again. Uh, that city was taken over by the Han Emperor troops. And then the, apparently the, uh, re the yellow turban mm. took it back again. So, okay. So that's the, that that's why I feel that maybe it is good for us to follow, to keep on following, so we can see what's going on. Like, in this playthrough or in this tutorial, 
the results I'm seeing are very different from my initial playthrough here on my own, where, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the, the yellow turban are a lot more aggressive. And uh, it's, it, I love this. So, you know, the playthroughs do not always uh, follow the same pattern. So that means the AI has uh, has a has a very uh, has has a has a versatile versatile routine. Yeah. So they have taken back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. Spear training. Sure. Yeah. We need spear training. One, that's one of the slowest uh, uh, parts of this game is that the training training is so slow uh, and there are three types of training right because we have uh, spearmen we have cavalry and we have archery and so see like here the Sun clan is trying to take over this new city that the uh, the El turban just took over <laughs> the uh, the AI for the Sun is very conservative. See, they have 21,000 trying to take this one over, and this has thirteen thousand troops in it. The problem is, I think I don't think the uh, yellow turban were, were able to send enough sold uh, or a general to that one. That white bar represents the uh, again the castle, the morale dropping or some uh, or and the troops dropping. Uh, so that means the yellow turban is losing that battle. But as soon as they send troops into that city to uh, fight the blockade, then the morale drop, the white line will stop dropping because there are that means I. Uh, yeah, there's an active defense going on. And so that's what uh, the, the AI does. They keep sending wave after wave to uh, to keep the attackers constantly uh, fighting and hopefully to use up the provisions. Well, apparently in this time, the yellow turban lost. So now the Sun family has, has three cities. <laughs> so Sunjan, so that means that's uh Okay, let's do the patrol. Here, let's do this. Because uh historically uh Sunjan has is very aggressive and apparently the development team development team has also made him very aggressive in this game. So look, he's got three cities now. And uh, he's wow, wow! Hats off to the development team. Anyway, again, uh, this episode is getting close to its maximum length, so maybe it's a good place to cut it right at this point. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy enjoy watching this episode, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for joining me, and bye.